Welcome to Deck 84. I'm Chef John, going to show you how to cook our key lime mahi today. Follow me, let's get cooking. Here are the ingredients you need to make the key lime mahi. For the marinade, you will need orange juice, lime juice, chopped garlic, ground cumin, kosher salt, ketchup, chili garlic sauce, julienne onions, chopped cilantro. For the sauce, you will need white wine, lime juice, a sprig of thyme, black peppercorns, shallots, butter, and heavy whipping cream. For the remainder of the dish, you will need mahi, steamed basmati rice, fresh spinach, chopped cilantro, chopped green onions, diced pineapple, diced red bell pepper, brown sugar, butter, and chives. And finally, you need salt and pepper to taste. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the marinade. First, we're gonna add the orange juice, the lime juice, chopped garlic, cumin, kosher salt, ketchup, chili garlic sauce, the julienne onion, and the rough cut chopped cilantro. We're gonna whisk these ingredients together. Once the marinade is thoroughly combined, we're going to marinate our fish, completely submersing the fish. Once the fish is in the marinade, we'd like you to store it in the refrigerator for no more than up to two hours. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our vermouth sauce. First thing you wanna do is turn on your pan to medium high heat. You're going to add your liquid, which is the white wine and lime juice, your shallots, black peppercorns, and your sprig of thyme. We're gonna let this simmer and reduce slowly till there's not much left, and we're gonna add the heavy cream. With the pan on very high heat, you're gonna slowly whisk in small amounts of your chilled butter. You won't add more until the, the previous amount of butter has been in there and combined thoroughly. Constantly have to whisk the butter. Once the butter is fully incorporated into the sauce, you're gonna remove from the heat and run it through a fine mesh strainer. Using the back of a ladle or a spoon, you wanna push the sauce through the sieve. The sauce looks great, now we're gonna move on to finishing the rest of the dish. We're gonna go ahead now and make the pineapple relish for the rice. First, you wanna get a pan really hot, and from there, we're gonna first add our pineapple to caramelize it, making sure you don't move the pineapple until it starts to brown and caramelize and gets a nice color on it. Once the pineapple starts to caramelize, we're going to add the red pepper and saute it for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna finish with the brown sugar. Over medium high heat hot, we're going to add the cooked rice, the pineapple relish, the green onions, and the chopped cilantro. Using a spatula, we're gonna combine these ingredients and bring them all together. The rice component is finished. We're gonna set aside and keep warm. You're gonna get a regular saute pan over medium high heat hot. We're gonna add the butter. Let the butter melt, you don't wanna brown your butter. Add in your spinach and a little salt and pepper to season. Okay, once the spinach is sauteed, you're gonna set it aside. We're going to go ahead and grill our fish and finish the dish. The first thing we're gonna do is oil our hot grill. The next thing we're going to do is remove the fish from the marinade and slightly season with salt and pepper. Season both sides, we're gonna grill it skin side up to start. You're gonna cook this fish roughly about four minutes on each side. After four minutes, we're going ahead and flip the fish over. The fish looks done, so now we're gonna go ahead and plate up the key lime mahi. Add the sauteed spinach to the bottom of the bowl. The next step is to place the rice over the top of the spinach. Next, we're gonna place the fish on top of the rice, add the sauce to the base of the bowl, and garnish with fresh chives. Here's the key lime mahi. You can either enjoy it at home or come enjoy it at Deck 84.